Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be installing Vulcan onto our Raspberry Pi 4. So let's get started. <laughs> So you may or may not have known that recently the Broadcom Vulcan drivers has been upstream to Misa, which means one, it's definitely easier to find when you want to install this driver into your board. Two, since it's going to get upstream, that means in a couple of months from now, it's going to be part of our repository, which means we don't need to compile it. It should just be able to grab the Vulcan libraries directly using apt. And three, much easier bug tracking. So this is huge news for us because having Vulkan drivers unlock a lot more possibilities on what you can do on the Raspberry Pi. So before I show you guys how to compile everything, I'm actually gonna show you guys what's the difference between this and OpenGL. So here's my desktop. It's fully compiled with everything that you need to run Vulkan. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples, starting with GLX gears. So GLX gears. Now this is a OpenGL version of gears. And you could see if you give it a couple of seconds, it'll show you that it's about like 60 frames per second, right around there. And it's like a little tiny window, all right? Now I'm gonna pop into my Vulkan demos that we have. And let me see, build, bin, and here I have the Vulkan version of gears. So you could see it's a much bigger screen but it's also running 177 frames per second. And if I was to shrink this down to a similar size to what it was before, 700 frames per second. Now, this isn't a real good example. It does show that Vulkan does run. It is on V3D 4.2, but the comparisons are so different. So the best way to compare this is in a real world test. So I'm gonna show you guys Quake 3. Now, I, Quake 3 I have on this version right now is with OpenGL. So, and I'm gonna pop into a game. Here we go. I'm just gonna put it as I can win because it's the easiest way. And I have the FPS popped in the top right corner. Here we go. So I'm walking around. It's actually not too bad. I mean, it's kind of playable. It's 20 frames per second, around 30 frames. Sometimes it dips down to like tens or single digits, as you can see. And let me see if I can find a spot to stand on. Like, when I'm passing the mirror, that's when it's like the worst. So I'm gonna stand right here without moving. You're gonna see the door, like almost everything moving around. It's like 35, 36 frames per second. And I'm aimed towards this little rocker here. So let me get out of this. And I'm gonna show you the Vulcan version. This way you guys can see the difference. And here we go. Yeah, look at the FPS on this. This is like double what you were getting before. 90s, 70s, picking up a weapon was like 70. And if I was to stand on that same spot, Crash. like right over here, you could see it's doing literally about 60 to 70 frames per second, double of what you were getting on OpenGL. And that's what I mean. It's a huge difference running Vulkan versus OpenGL. And once a lot of game supports that we could compile to Vulkan, we're gonna be able to get a lot better gameplay. Especially now that there's a PPSP, a PlayStation Portable emulator that has Vulkan. I saw a Nintendo Switch emulator that has Vulkan. You probably can compile it against this and get better frame rates playing Switch on the Raspberry Pi 4. So let me show you guys how to compile it and you guys can play around with it on your end. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I recently broke my 120 gigabyte SSD that I usually use on my Raspberry Pi, but I ended up picking up one of these guys off Amazon for a couple of dollars. It actually was pretty, pretty cheap. A 500 gigabyte SSD looks pretty cool. It's silver compared to the black and gray ones that I'm used to seeing. But yeah, so I'm gonna pop the Raspberry Pi OS into this little guy and pop it into my Raspberry Pi so we could start from scratch. First, I'm over at my uh, Linux desktop. Uh, it all looks very, very similar because I've been using the same background for everything. But yeah, I'm gonna go over to my Raspberry Pi imager. Uh, choose the latest OS, which is the 32-bit, wait, is this the desktop? Yeah, desktop version. Choose 500 gigabyte and I'm gonna write shouldn't be too long since it's an SSD on USB 3. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a few seconds to let this write and we'll jump into our Raspberry Pi 4 as soon as this is done. All right, here we go. Unplug this. So here we go. This is a fresh installed Raspberry Pi desktop. And as you can see, I'm actually gonna leave this in 720 so you guys can see the fonts a little bit better. But I do have the black borders that I got to fix and I got to go through this menu. So give me a second. Let me get through this. And um... all right. So the first thing we want to do right now is sudo apt update just to make sure we got all the libraries. 
And if we're missing anything, we might as well just upgrade it as well. Yep, so sudo apt upgrade. Once the upgrade is complete, uh, now it's time to download the stuff that we need to download to get everything working. So the next thing we need to do is unlock the ability to um, use the build dependency on apt. So to do this, we would have to do sudo nano etc apt sources list. In here, you uncomment that one, that dev source. Hit control X, Y to save, and sudo apt update again. This way it'll grab those repositories from the sources. Next, we do sudo apt build dep, like dep, misa. This will actually grab the list of dependencies that you need to build. So instead of having to like actually manually type all this out on what you need, that way it will just know what it wants and what it needs to build Misa. And that's what we're going to be building right now. So I'm going to grab all this. All right, now that's done, we're going to go grab Misa library. So I'm going to head over to the Chromium. I have a little notes here that will actually just give me the link to free desktop.misa, which is much easier to find, but I don't want to do any typos here. So once you grab this, you're going to see that this is the whole Misa library. You actually don't even need to go to the website. I could have just get this. So I'm just going to show you this is basically what you need to do with a little bit of change. So I'm going to grab that again and I'm going to head over to my downloads directory and git clone that folder itself. Now that we grabbed everything that we need from Misa, before we check or install anything, what I'm going to do is sudo at install vk, no, Vulkan utils, I think, or Vulkan tools. And I think that gives me vk cube. And you could see that because I don't have anything installed, it doesn't even work, right? So I've just tested the uh, program and yeah, it's not even booting up. All right, just, just confirming. So now I'm going to go over to Misa. And I'm going to make a directory called build. And inside build, I'm going to change over to that. I am going to do Mison. Now, this is the string that you need to actually compile the Broadcom drivers for Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to grab this and I'll leave all this. Literally, you're going to see this notepad down on the description down below. So I'm going to paste this here and then dot dot because I'm going back to the previous directory where all the sources are. Once you hit that, it's going to find everything. It might run into a little bit of a problem. I don't know yet because uh, it might need a different type of uh, library for libdrm, but I'm not sure if they have updated that yet. Oh, I do need to install xbc shim. Okay, so sudo apt. I'm just running into the same problems you guys might run into and not solving it ahead of time just to show you guys what I would do. Install lib xcb shm zero dash dev. You need the dev version when you're compiling stuff. So once that is done, I'm just gonna rerun that previous command and see if any other errors come up. It seems to be okay. Found Ninja, everything's okay. Once you see this type of screen, that means you're ready to compile. So there's actually two ways to build it. Well, one way, but you could either type Ninja now and have it everything built and then install it later, or you could do sudo ninja install this will build it and install it so i'm going to do that now it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to build so i would just like you know grab a cup of coffee or something like that and come back in a little bit all right so there we have it everything is installed everything is moved to the correct directory like user local lib and all that other stuff so now we could actually test out VK cube again, and it should start if everything worked out correctly. And there we have it. That's it. Now, if I do, I don't think I could do this right now. Vulcan info. Oh, I could. It pops up and it tells you all the information that you need. Let me do pop it into less and you kind of could see that we are using uh, V3D 4.2 right there. GPU ID. Now having this library installed allows us to try a lot of things. Games that support Vulkan, 
um, like Quake and stuff like that. All the stuff that I have will be in these demos. Like I was playing with Open Arena before and I had this uh, quick demo. So if you want to learn how to build some demos to test it out, also play um, a Quake 3 Arena on uh, Vulkan, you could do that as well. There's probably other games that you could look for that supports Vulkan. And hopefully, hopefully, when Box86 starts adding Vulkan implementations, we should be able to get some real Linux games into our Raspberry Pi. And that would be amazing. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions or any ideas what I could do with this Vulcan thing, I'll leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.